some doubles. J Dog back to answer more goddamn questions. And finishing off, goddamn, the paid skis. Granted, they've slowed down, but like I said, they've really piled the fuck up. I think we got about eight of them in store, it looks like. So let's get fucking started. First one at the top, goddamn it, came in a couple days ago. It's from uh, John Davis. Hails hey, Justin. How did you become to be so well versed in the first wave of death and grind? Question mark. It's fucking amazing considering you're only 38. So it's kind of funny because I mean, I guess I guess it depends on who you ask how well versed. Because on the channel, what was it? By the time I'm recording this video, it was probably about mm, maybe a week ago, a little less week week ago. Uh, people were bringing up the band Infester. Like, how's the dog not heard of Infester? And I'm just like. And I replied to a couple people in the comments because I, I was on a crapper doing that. Like, fucking, I'm like, because because lots of people said it, too. It was like five, six, seven, eight, like, piling up. I'm like, dude, do, do you motherfuckers even listen to the shit I say? Like, holy fuck, ski, dude. Bubbles in the house. Sloth from the Goonies and Forrest Gump all in one having a fucking three-way. I'm like. I never said I'd never heard of Investor. The guy asked me something about the band Investor. I said, which one? There's multiple of them. I said, the one that interested me the most to hear is the Swedish one, because they did a demo in like 91, 92. I read about the Swedish death metal book, and it's a one I never heard. But I was like, oh, 91, 92 demo. Just like, again, there's a band called Morg from fucking uh, Sweden. If I said, which morgue? I, uh, you know, I want to hear the Swedish morgue demo because I, I heard about it. They have one demo. I think it's 91 as well. Never heard it. This guy hasn't heard of morgue. What, what do you mean? He, they even put it out. They put out the goddamn fucking uh, the, the LP and CD. Still have some copies. He doesn't even know who it is. That's not what I fucking said. And I'm like, Jesus, fuck. It's a bunch of dumbass, deaf motherfuckers listening. And the one you guys are talking about, the one that uh, is the, uh, the death metal one, uh, something like the mid nineties. What are they like? It's like a Washington band. Yeah, it's 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 not even that fucking great. The best thing about that band was I remember when I heard it too. So I'm like, people are bringing it up, and I I'll be honest, I went back and I YouTube. I'm like, oh yeah, this album. I remember when Hell's got those in a trade from Moribund Records, and I'm pretty sure that's the label put it out. Um, to, in a trade. And I listened to it, and now, I, just by looking at it and shit, I remember, this is going back 15 years ago, at least. I remember it going to be more black metal, but oh, it's death metal. And uh, the coolest part about them was the vocals. But uh, they were similar to Suffocation Human Waste. Not quite that cool, but still, that's a badass fucking vocals to have. But the problem is that they'd have some catchy parts, and then just, let's pick up the pace, brah, bra, some boring fucking parts. All in all... It's a pretty good band, but by no means is it like, holy fuck, he doesn't know that. A, didn't say he doesn't know that. B, he does know that. Well, it's in the Forgot More Melody No Pop. But yes, I'm fully aware who they fucking are. I remember, I remember listening to it. I think it, it was definitely in the days when uh, me, Easy E, and uh, Sea Dog were, were living in the house that we bought together or running out of house. So it's, yeah, probably about 15 years ago. So I remember got them. I looked at all oh, this cover, looks kind of cool. Thought it was going to be Black Metal, though. That's exactly what I thought. Ah, it's kind of mid-paced fucking kind of cool death metal. It's got parts I like and parts I don't like. Now, don't be wrong. If I heard that album when I was like 14 or so, then I probably would like it much more. Like, I'm not delusional. I just like, I exaggerate to get my goddamn point across. And because, hell, it's my channel. It's the stuff that I like. So, of course, I'm going to be a amp up the stuff I like because this is the stuff I like. And we're on my fucking channel. What the fuck else am I going to do? I'm not going to amp up shit I don't like. When I say something like Gorefest Mind Loss, why do I like that so much? Because it's one of the first death metal albums I heard. It's in the top 10 of albums that I heard. Sinister was in the top 10s of that I heard. The Tish was in the top 10s that I heard. Uh, the Vader Demos, the Reborn and Chaos CD, is in the top 10s that I heard. Why do you think I'm such a big fan of that shit? If Infester was in place of fucking uh, Gorefest, I would probably like that as much as I like Gorefest or in that category. Like, it's one of the fucking greats. But at the same time, I wouldn't go around like it could be like this guy's out. He doesn't know Infester. What a fucking poser. Again, bubbles. Not what I said. I said which fucking one. <laughs> and second of all, that's not a band you go around that, that's a poser if you don't like. That's like, put it to you this way, dude. 
You think King Folly knows that shit? Guarantee he doesn't. Think Don of the Dead doesn't? 100% positive he doesn't. Think Scott and I does? Maybe, but he's probably not going to care. People have been listening to Metal Forever, so they're posers because they don't know Dumbass and Fester. It, it was an okay, they're a late to the game band. I don't call anyway. You guys know I'm a big fan of the first four Deeds of Flesh albums. At no point, at no point in my entire life have I ever thought somebody, even if they claim to be in a death metal, you're a poser for death metal if you don't like Deeds of Flesh. Deeds of Flesh, that's a newbie later band, dude. The classics, when you say dumb shit like, Deicide's got nothing good. I look at you like, does this dude even bang chicks? What do you mean you don't like anything by Deicide? That's fucking stupid, dude. Eating back to life, nothing there. The classics, human waste is mid. That's, you look like a fucking goddamn sloth from the Goonies. I'm sorry, you just do, but it fester. That's like saying like, Again, a band like Diabolic, I like him, but it no means I'm like, it's mandatory, you gotta have him. It's later morbid angel worship type shit. Yeah, it's good, and I like him, and I grew up on him, but by no means do I think someone's a poser if you don't like him. I, those bands I'll recommend, just because that's what I'm a fan of. Of course I'm going to recommend. When, I, when you give somebody a recommendation, it's shit that you like. But that's not essential. Possessed Seven Churches is essential. Repulsion Horrified is essential. Bathory Bathory is essential. <laughs> Investor is not essential. It's oh yeah, I like them too. <laughs> so, unfucking believable. But yeah, I consider myself pretty well goddamn versed. I would have to say, I mean, uh, pretty well educated in the topic. And when you said only thirty eights, well, you know, I got in this very young, and you got to remember that's what blows my mind with these fucking poser ass canoes. Or when they hear the newer bands, which I understand, a lot of the bands that I got into at the time, they were the new bands at the time. The difference between me and them, and the reason why I rip on these guys, is because I went back because I was actually interested. Who else is there? I wanted to learn more. I self-educated. You know what I'm saying? Picked picked other people's brains. Like, oh, who else is there? Who? What bands were from this country at this time, etc. Look, reading, reading the goddamn thanks list. Um, paying attention to what T-shirts the other bands were and the goddamn album covers and shit like that. So it was just kind of like, if you're interested in a topic. And you've been listening to, and you've been into the, whatever topic that is for over 20 years. To be completely honest, I, my, I question, why wouldn't you be that fuck? You should be damn well fucking, uh, versed into it and educated, especially nowadays with YouTube. You can literally just type it in back in the dog's old goddamn day. You, you had to fucking buy the shit. Now you don't even have to do that. So, well, I think I'm doing, I think I'm hanging in there pretty okay. I was 12 when seven churches came out. God damn. Yeah, so you got quite a few years on me. I was just born when Seven Churches came out. But but didn't discover it until I was around 15 or 16. So you heard around 88, 89. I mean, that's not like crazy later, I mean, dude. It was still before I did. <laughs> At what age did your love for the first wave come to be? Uh, I mean, I knew I liked music officially because there's myself a music fan, like I said, uh, at age 10 when Heard Sacred Reich. But as far as becoming a huge fucking fan, and it's okay, this is about the, uh, this is pretty much what I'm going to dedicate my life passion to. I would say it was age 13. That's when I started buying shit for the most part. You know, you going to shows and uh, buying the physical format. That's when you're, you know, you're, you're in it as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, I wasn't just buying it to be cool because I had the same interest now as I did then. So I would say, to give it a fair answer, not some over-exaggerated answer. Like, when's your band started? Started when I was nine years old. I started practicing guitar. It's like, why did you start the band when you were 20 then? Shut the fuck up, man. It started when you were 20, not when you were nine. You may have been interested in music at nine. So I'm not going to give a dumbass answer like that. To me, it's when you officially started going shows and buying shit. 13. That's how old, God damn it. So, 98. And fuck, they'll leave off with this goddamn shit. It would, uh... Anyway, I love the show and watch it every morning. Take care and stay pissed. Later, goddammit. As pissed as they come, brah, brah. Especially when I see stupid-ass comments like that. Just make my... Again, when people type stupid shit like the Infestor stuff, when it's stupid, because, like, dude, did you even listen to what I said? I said it before. When, when you're typing such asinine crap, if it's on your phone or your computer, your entire device should just fucking blow up. It's like, dude. I, I I can't even believe how fucking stupid some people are. Patrick Mulcally. The P question. What's up, dog? Just getting in your channel over the last couple months. Keep on getting in and keep on fucking sending them paid skis, brah, brah. 
Appreciate the consistent content. Mm -hmm. No slack fuckery around here. Video a day keeps the fucking canoes a goddamn way. I'm very curious about your thoughts in general on vital remains. Oh, yeah, you are a newbie, bro. bro. I've talked about them. We'll paid skis get answered no matter what, goddammit. For me, they are my all-time favorite band. They're definitely not mine. And the biggest factor that goes into that is because of the last two albums, which they did with Glenn. Mm -hmm. Everything GB touches is gold, goddammit. Dude, GB on his fucking worst day. D aside on their worst album. Oh, man, I'm going to get some... <laughs> In the comments for saying this one, but fuck them. I said it and I meant it, goddammit. D aside on their worst fucking day, which is Till Death Do Us Parts, is better than Bolt Thrower on their best fucking day. That's right, I motherfucking said it. I said it. Worst day, D aside, is better than Bolt Thrower on the best day, goddammit. And I like Bolt Thrower. Just, it's, Bolt Thrower is hands down the most, by a milestone, overrated band of all fucking time. No exceptions to even that goddamn rule. They are definitely the most overrated goddamn band. Again, I like them. I think Rebel Chaos is good. War Master's good. After that, I kind of stopped paying attention, although everything I've heard is pretty good. Fourth Crusade, and uh, I've heard parts of later stuff, and it's all pretty good. But it's there's nothing, like, amazing about it. Um, demos are good. and Battle, there's no law. I mean, it's, it's all pretty good, but it was... It, it just it was no is no sinister. It was no goddamn supplication. It was no deicide. It was no morbid angel. There's just I was like there's been, been a million fucking bands better. There's no goddamn tish. I mean, somebody's gonna say what? Do they can play well? Wait, but I'm talking. Dude, I'm not I'm in the goddamn fucking Jimi Hendrix. I don't care how well they can play. I'm talking about Stoomskies, bra bra. Most overrated black metal band of all fucking time is Dark Throne. Again, I fucking said it. As far as vital remains, answer your goddamn question. First two albums, mid as fuck. Uh, I don't know if they're overrated, because at least people don't fucking praise them up, down, left, and right. They're, they're, they're very okay death metal albums. Fit the bill, solid as fuck, true death metal. But every time I put them on, I'm just kind of bored. But ironically enough, I really like that Horrors of Hell CD. Dog owns it, of course. It's got the two demos and the 7-inch. Um, the first two albums, I don't think they suck. I just, I'm just bored when I listen to them. Uh, Dawn of the Apocalypse. That's what it's called, right? Dawn of the Apocalypse? Apocalypse album. The Orange Cover. I remember there, but just nothing there. Been a while since I listened to that one, though. I will admit that. Uh, but nothing there. Um, Forever Underground. Very fucking good. Now, that is a strong fucking album. I don't know if it's 666 Skulls, but it is definitely 10 fucking Skulls. It's up there. I think that album is extremely good. Um, Dechristianize is 10 to 666 Skulls. Love that with the GB. Icons of Evil is about seven skulls for me. It's great with the GB on there. Shit, it's definitely an off day for the GB. Uh, but I still like it better than like the first two or shit like that. I mean, the whole thing with Clem. Again, I've said it before. That's one of my biggest regrets is not going to see Vital Remains when Glenn was seeing because I've had the opportunity to. It was when Christianized came out. I don't remember why I didn't go. And then I heard the aftermath of it. Uh, I guess Glenn didn't know the word. It's like right after the album came out, if I'm not mistaken. And he, uh, he, he's actually singing, the which is kind of fucking lame, but the last we did. Um, he was singing the uh, lyrics from uh, like a sheet. So, but uh, yeah, that's my overall consensus of, uh, of Vital Remains. So I definitely like stuff. There's stuff I like very, very much. And then stuff that I'm just like, eh, nothing there. But nothing by them sucks. And they're definitely a true goddamn death moment. Matter of fact, I even like the, both throw a realm of chaos and war, war master more than I like those first two. Um, I don't mean, so I will give I will give the snore thrower that. Yeah, the fuck the hell you have on this goddamn motherfucking essay because that's exactly what the fuck it is. Uh, seems that very often old school fans just dis will dismiss any new era of metal bands material for a multitude of reasons. Yeah, a lot of that, and I can fall into that category too. Some of that is just you know you get stuck in your ways. If you've been listening to a band for ten plus years and they throw a curveball at you. You know, it's kind of like, ah, what the fuck? Um, there's the out, the, the, especially the black metal guys. The, it's the out tough guy, out cavalt guy, the next one. The, that's what annoys me a lot with the black metal guys. It exists in heavy, I mean, in death metal too and other genres. The gatekeeping to the point where it's like, dude, you're only saying this shit because it's like, it, it's almost like an image slash status that it needs to have. Because, for example, like, like I said, especially with the black metal, because I'm like, 
Dude, I know for a fact, and I'm not going to mention any goddamn names, but I know people listen, I'm like, there's no way you remember half these songs or listen to these songs or enjoy them that much. You're going by like, okay, it hits every quota, the image, the sound of it, the rawness. It's it's all on point. It's like, but the songs suck, man. Or it sounds like the 10 million fucking Finnish black metal band or whatever that sound all the same. I'm like, what's the goddamn point? But then they'll knock something that that uh, that's like a bigger band, but has jamming songs that you can remember on the first fucking listen. It's like, it doesn't, dude, that's just dumb. It's like, are you into music? Or are you just into uh, just looking rebellious, cool, and tough guy and image? And just you're, you're part of, of, a, of, a, of a cult, a gang? a clan or whatever you want to fucking call it. Are you that you're part of a club or are you actually in the goddamn music? Like, I, I just don't get it. It's like, don't be wrong. I understand when you hear something that's got this, a certain type of sound or something. Oh, wow. This sounds cool as fuck. But then with the black metal shit, it's almost like it has to hit that checkbox. And it's like, and anything that does it, Oh, it's overproduced. It sucks. It's like, but the songs are way fucking better. Like that's, it, it, that tells me you're not a music fucking fan. And with all due respect, it's it's no wonder why you're fucking miserable. And a lot of the guys depressed and looking down a barrel of gun. Not saying all of them, but a lot of them. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's no fucking wonder why, man. If that's what you're going home and listening to, that's what you got to enjoy. That's what's being played at your poker party. Count the dog out. I ain't coming to that goddamn game. Uh, me, uh, whatever the fuck the uh, mole. I can totally appreciate someone preferring the older, rougher production when listening to metal. Me, per, 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 personally, I prefer the clearer production on albums in many instances, including with the Christianized and Icons of Evil. My only complaint on those is I do think that the triggers did sound a little... They could have sounded better. It sounded a little fake, a little bit too... Uh, lack of better words, ridiculous. It's like, you don't need it. Like, what's the point of this? Like, it doesn't need a sound just for the sake of just being fast, I guess. Now, don't go wrong. I keep the blast the way they were, but it's like, it almost sounded a little bit like, like they're trying. Like, almost like at that time in the early 2000s, like bands were all competing with each other. Uh, like, who can have the most beats per minute? Not saying that was the case. It just, it kind of did come across in that and stuff. Um, I don't think it ruins the album, but I think it would be better if it had a more, again, lack of better words, real drum sound. But with you being a, a true DSI fan, biggest fan you know me, goddamn it, DSI your ass on the table. As as I also am, do you feel the same way regarding them? Pretty much gave you my take on that, goddamn it. Even with Glenn doing the vocals on both albums, Dechristianize, and I've said this before too, Dechristianize is my favorite uh, Vital Remains album. After that, Forever Underground. Then it would go Icons of Evil. Also, do you feel that you would have enjoyed all their previous albums more or at all if if Glenn were involved in every one of them, thanks for the, uh, probably everything GB touches me, he just makes it fucking better, God damn it. Part of it is because of his, uh, he's got the charisma. See, people get this twisted too with DSI, especially because I noticed on my um, review of the new song, most people seem to like it, but some people didn't. And, uh, and I sent it, I sent the song to a few people too, in context, and half the people I sent it to liked it, half the people didn't. And I noticed the comments by people that said they didn't like it, the feedback they're getting. I'm like, dude, you, you obviously, like, you don't understand Deicide. They weren't, Deicide was a band for me that the, their whole shtick was playing good, memorable, simplistic death metal that was catchy and foot tapping and head banging on the first goddamn listen with Glenn's vocal tones and his fucking, uh, lyrical rhymes of just awesome goddamn lyrics almost like the uh the law of the land when it came to anti-christianity all combined in one and a great way of polluting the fucking mind of the youth to get them out of the fucking jc bullshit in the art form of catchy music it wasn't about let's be fucking raw Let's be the most brutal band. If I'm looking for the most brutal, I'll listen to the goddamn Tish or fucking Last Days of Humanity. But it was still a brutal band. But is it as brutal as fucking Onward or Golgotha? No, but that's not what that, that's not what DSI was meant to be. It's supposed to have mm to it. Like in your fucking face. Like again, with the riffs and with Glenn's charisma that came through with his his vocal style, his lyrics, and just his off off uh off album charisma that you see live 
Again, that's why I was disappointed the last couple of times I seen Dia's side is he didn't say nothing in between songs and shit. He's known for his lines and his and his humor. For example, watch the music video. Like it's fucking hilarious, dude. He's playing peekaboo, peekaboo with fucking Jesus' rib cage. Um, it was just that he had that that sense of humor that went very well along with the entire style and look of the band. Um, uh, and the branded cross in the head. He just he's got it, it fit everything. So he just made everything fucking better. Like everything fit the fucking bill. So he had somebody that brought something to a band. That's for what they set out to do. It, it fit just like I think Corpse Grinders are very good front band for Cannibal Corpse. You go and see them, and he has those whirlwinds. That stands up. That's why I rip on stuff like Internal Bleeding and shit. I'm like, you, it's almost like you guys have no music is supposed to be an art. You have no art. You're in fucking baseball hats. How is that art? How, and again, it doesn't have to be a style. That's why, again, that's what I do respect about the black metal guys, even though the depressive garbage black metal, because they're actually, they are actually artists. Just some of the art, there's good art, there's shitty art, or just art that is not for everybody. There's, it's, 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 it's eye of the beholder, right? In, in music's case, ear of the beholder. But they at least got it. These fucking idiots going with sports jersey and baseball caps, no person, like, you can't even, you just look like another fucking canoe that I just walked past in goddamn Walmart an hour ago. Why am I here to see your band? Why? GB on stage, that is an art. That is a performance. Now, you may not be a fan of his arts. You may think it's a boring art. Didn't fit your, your style. I get that. But you have to admit, he's at least, he has something. He's memorable. You see what I'm saying? You see these fucking idiots and these, these a lot of these brutal bands, epicardectimony. This this is fucking stupid. Now, again, sometimes if the tunes are jamming as fuck, the tune skis can outweigh that whole image arts. But when you got both, that's a great fucking formula, man. Why not have both? Especially if you're trying to be a successful band. Especially if you're trying to uh capitalize or monetize anything off your fucking band in any sense of the word. I mean. The more you got going for you, the better. The better off that's going to be. Like, why would somebody want to own a T-shirt or something like that if it's just, you know, if like, yeah, they got pretty good songs and these guys look deplorable as hell. Their cover art's fucking terrible. Their logo sucks shit. I mean, just me as a, as a goddamn young boy. I mean, that would have turned me off. As, as far as like, uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of a kind of a cool listen, but goddamn, I ain't wearing a shirt of that. But there's those bands that exist. I'm drawing a blank as to who off the top of my head, but. Give me five minutes, I can come up with a handful for sure. And I'm sure all of you can fucking too. So, yeah, I think if uh, GB was in the goddamn uh, previous Vital Amazing, it'd be even better, goddamn it. Surely they would be. Comments, questions, concerns, you know what the fuck I do. But the guy on the podcast after my morning. Later, goddamn it.